nothing changes if nothing changes. You gotta change internally in order for the outer world to change. You gotta change what's within you in order to see changes on the outer world. You gotta change your perspective on life in order to see changes in the outer world. You gotta change who you are. Change the conception of yourself. Change the conception of who you are as a person, as a man, as a woman. How do you see yourself? Because how you see yourself will determine how you view the world. If you view the world as a world full of bad things and negative energy, you will experience that. But if you just take a moment and observe, and you are Zen, you're just observing. There are some good things and bad things, and you are validating both. But you have the ability to choose which route you will take, which route you will go to. You should know by now that your thoughts and feelings is creating your personality. And your personality is creating your personal reality. And how you think and how you feel, once you change those, everything around you will change. So let's take that a step further. You now know all this info. But if you just know them intellectually, then you're not doing anything. You've got to put this to the test. You've got to do these things. You've got to act differently. Sit every day and say to yourself, there are certain things in my life that I need to change. I need to change my point of view in order to see which are the things that I need to actually improve on. You've got to know. Which are these things? Because nothing changes if nothing changes. Nobody will save you but you. There is no one out there that is waiting for the right moment to get into your life and save you. But let me tell you something. Once you change how you think and how you feel and how you view the world and how you see yourself, you will actually start to see things accelerating in your life in a positive way synchronicities and serendipities will actually come into your life more often how you are becoming in tune with the frequency of the life that you want so you will be doing more work with less effort so people from the outside will see like he is working so hard but in fact you are just doing what you love to do and this is the paradox of it when you do what you love you will do more but if you do something just because the grind culture and the hustle culture is telling you to just grind and grind and grind, I'm not against grind. I'm actually with the idea of being disciplined. But sometimes you've got to know, am I going that route because I want it? Or I'm going to that route and taking that path because I saw someone else is doing it and I just need to prove to myself that I want to be like him. And when you actually become that man you see yourself like wow i didn't want that i was just jealous of him and i wanted to prove to myself that i can do it internally you gotta face yourself just because something is hard to obtain doesn't mean that it's valuable let me repeat that just because something is hard to obtain doesn't mean that it is valuable there are a lot of things around you that are hard to obtain, but they are not valuable. They are valuable for some people. That is their lives. But for you, it's not valuable. You gotta see which are the things that are making you happy and go for those things. See what is making you happy, what is making you satisfied, what is making you relieved. See those things and actually go after those things and don't stop until you get to that goal and it will happen so naturally by the way if you embody a state of fulfillment for the things that you want you will like encounter a series of events that will lead you to get to what you want because everything is here and now everything and i mean everything all quantum possibilities exist right here right now when you tune into the frequency of the thing that you want you will achieve what you want this is the secret to it all. We've been programmed that you've got to work so hard and suffer in order to get what, to what you want, in order to get all the things that you desire. 
which is true to an extent. You are upgrading your character in this 3D hologram, in this game. But it doesn't have to be hard. It can be like lessons. It can be like you are leveling up in this game. You are meeting the final boss. Like these circumstances are there for a reason. And sometimes when you look at these circumstances differently, they just disappear. And if they don't disappear, you know that this is there for a reason. I'm here to learn something. So you are more receptive to that experience of facing this. Unlike when you see something and you're just mad. Why is this happening to me? You will just increase the possibilities of this thing coming again in your life. It will show up again because you didn't react as you should. You should react to everything in your life as if it's working in your favor because it does everything is working in your favor everything and i mean everything even the bad things they are there for a reason and sooner or later you will realize that these things are there for a reason and they are making you better and better and better and every day if you see these things are coming up into your life congratulations because these are there for a reason they are making you realize number one there is an unconscious behavior that made this come into your life or number two if everything is fine internally and still this thing came up then it's there for a reason to make you learn a lesson so be receptive and don't resist what you resist persist and sometimes when you are trying to think logically about something and trying to make sense out of it you are just doing more damage than good you need to step aside you need to just shut your brain off and trust your intuition and do what your gut feeling is telling you to do because sometimes this is the answer sometimes it's like that don't fight your gut feeling sometimes you have the answer if something is in front of you and your gut feeling is telling you to just dodge it then dodge it if your gut feeling is telling you just to go through it go through it you have all the answers Meditation will help you a lot when you are facing things like that. When you slow down your brainwaves and you just observe your thoughts and you try to get this idea of the ideal scenario, you get this picture of an ideal scenario and you embody that state and you just let go and go with the flow, you will find that it will be solved immediately. So know that nothing will change in your life until you make that change. When you stop making the same mistakes, when you become conscious of your unconscious behaviors, when you become more alert of any unrecognized pattern out there that is coming up every single time you face a certain situation, you become conscious of the unconscious. Because let me tell you something, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will run your life and you will call it fate. So start today and see the magic happens. And if you want more techniques to reprogram your subconscious mind, I got it all in a 26 page ebook, the link in the description box. And if you want a meditation that will get you into the alpha state that will reprogram your subconscious mind too, then click on this video here. And until next video, I will see you soon.